What a wild week in Saitama. Not just Reborn, not just Saitama Inu, not just Saitachain, all of it. Because guess what? The bottom fell out on Saitachain as we found out that Manny the Hitman, as, as all of these people that were involved, Russell Armand, uh, Nam, all of these guys have either been arrested, pled guilty, or fled a country and gone to a place where there's no extradition, or they just live in a place where there's no extradition. Whatever the case may be, uh, crime didn't pay, and they were forced to give up $25 million. Now, that puts the name Saitama into the ecosystem, into the ethos, if you will. And that means that Saitama Wolfpack Reborn most likely is going to end up getting a nice little pump out of this because, look, it doesn't matter really what happened. Um, it, it does to the investors. I shouldn't, I don't want to disrespect investors. And there are a lot of people that are in Saitama Reborn who lost a lot of money in the original Saitama Inu or on Cytochain or something like that. So we're going to look into a few different things. I'll get you updated and up to speed if you haven't. And make sure you hit the like button on your way in. Let's get going. Okay, first of all, um, as you can see, and there's an argument to be made here that it has not yet broken out, but it looks like twice now we've attempted a breakout above this descending trend line. And if that happens, then I would suspect that we're going to have an explosive move up to around a half, uh, about a half cent. If it gets accepted into that range, then expect to have a breakout because it does look like we're at the spot right now where a breakout is imminent. Now, you guys saw when I came aboard and we started talking about this, we were down here at like two tenths of a cent. Now we're at three tenths of a cent, broke up to four tenths of a cent. So uh, we've had about a hundred percent increase, kind of sitting right now at about 75%. Uh, it's going to continue. The market you guys know that the market has been a little bit wonky. This is one of those gem holds that you want to make. And the reason for that is very, very simple. Uh, let's not get too technical. There's about $50,000 in liquidity, which means that there's about $50,000 worth of people who are watching this project at least holding a floor. And there's a market cap of $333,000. Uh, look, it's very, very easy for uh, any kind of uh, crypto that gets just a little bit of impetus to go to a three to five to a 10 million market cap. It's not that complicated. It doesn't take that much. So now you have to be asking yourself, like, what is um, it all about? Well, number one, community. If you're part of the Saitama community, then take your shot here. Uh, put yourself a little bag in. Uh, by the way, not financial advice. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not telling you what you should do. Uh, I'm telling you if you if if I were you, this is what I would be doing. I'd be buying just a little bit of this just in case something big were to happen and it were to go 10x to about a three million dollar market cap. Uh, God forbid it goes 100x to a three uh, to a 30 million dollar market cap. And by the way, if it goes no more than 30 million market cap, this would have been a huge success for most of the people who are holding, especially the people who are holding right now. And there's about 600 holders. Now, here's the thing. During the time that this has launched and through all of this, Solana has been under fire. Let's go back and look at the numbers. Solana trading at about $146 right now. Look, Solana, Solana's going to pump to about, uh, you know, let's call it two, 300 bucks not too long from now. We're getting into the bull run phase of this market. It's trading at 146.51. What do you think happens when this goes up to 200? Then there's a bunch of people that are going to come into this ecosystem and they're going to be buying meme coins. And guess what they're going to be looking for? They're going to be looking for opportunities. And this represents one of those opportunities. So the best thing that you can do if you are looking for one of those opportune moments, right? If you, if you have a little disposable amount of money, um, I do, and I have a few hundred bucks worth of site. Tama. Uh, so, uh, and I am partnered with these guys. I, I do want to make that clear. I am partnered with them uh, to promote and provide this video. But here's the thing. It is simple that this thing is going to go. In, in my mind, 5 million market cap would be a resounding success. But let's just call it 30 million market cap, which is about six times higher than what I'm saying. But if we go to 5 million market cap, I will consider this relaunch, all of this to be a big time success. Now, in the big run up, it went to, I want to say about a million market cap. So the next big pump is, you know, 1.4, 1.5, about a 5x from where it is right now. So I really think that you guys should pay attention to this and, you know, get yourself a little bag because you never know what's going to happen. Um, but let's talk about why all of this took place. Now, 
Um, if you want to, you can follow it. It's at Saitama underscore reborn. Uh, but here it is right here. So Manny the Hitman, this is Aaron Saitama, Nam Tran, Max Hernandez, Russell Armand, VFAM. VFAM, by the way, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with the history of Saitama Inu, VFAM was one of the original people that were involved and she stepped away during like the first month or the, the second month or something like that and it became a community takeover and that was Russell Armand. Now if you go to the uh, lawsuit filings from Russell Armand which are located over here and if you go into these uh, lawsuits and you actually read through the allegations and you will find that Russ was uh, creating buys in order to make it seem like there was a lot of um, momentum for this project during a bearish part of that final bull phase. And guess what? It ended up working and it went to a valuation of about 7.5 billion market cap. They did it, you know, uh, they did it wrong, but it, it happened. What they expected to happen happened. They were selling out the back end. They were lying and they were deceiving. And they were manipulating people. And by the way, that should be an indication why Steve from Rocket Crypto uh, was no longer associated uh, with this. And I just want to say personally that uh, it, shame on Steve from Rocket Crypto for knowing this and not saying anything about it and not doing anything about it. And dare I say, profiting off of it uh, and selling out before all of this stuff fell down. Um, you know, that's not a good, that's, that's not a good look to know that he was involved here and took all the profit and then decided to leave after the fact. When we know the timeline, Steve left uh, before the, the site of mask launch, right before that site of mask launch, but this had been going on for months. So, um, a very interesting thing that's that's playing out over here. So uh, look, this all happens, and then guess what? From there, um, this thing runs to an incredible market cap. It puts the word Saitama in the ethos, in the ecosystem. It, it puts it out here in crypto. And guess what? Cytochain, it's going to reverse, and it's going to start pumping at some point because there's still a team of, I think, 12 people that are involved, not even Manny or Aaron or any of these other guys or, or Gabriel. None of these guys. Uh, without them, there's still 12 people working on this project. So Cytochain's going to pump. And what's going to happen to Saitama Reborn? It's going to pump too. Here's the thing. It's going to be done the right way, and that means that Tom Toronto and the guys that are there, that are working on this one right now, they're going to do what they need to do the proper way to make this thing succeed. And by the way, again, I would define success as a five to thirty million dollar market cap, uh, and and I would think that they had at that point done a fantastic job. Um, and look, you, you never know what's going to happen, but um, buy yourself a bag and see. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, sorted crazy details here, but Saitama reborn, uh, reliving it and bringing itself back around. Guys, you're going to like what happens. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. Folks, I'm about to stake 10,000 XRP in my Cryptonomy.Finance account for a nine-month yield. Okay, transaction complete. Let's move on to the next thing. Not only are you able to stake your crypto, not only are you able to earn yield off of new cryptos launching, you can also borrow stable coins, borrow fiat, and borrow crypto. Additionally, folks, there are several big things that are in the pipeline. Strategic collaborations, the global unicorn selection, expansion, uh, and then this drives significant returns by identifying and supporting high potential early stage ventures and if you are worried about the market, don't be because Cryptonomy.Finance is prepared for market volatility. They are playing both sides of this coin. Uh, they are going long. They are going short as the market allows it. And you, my friends, have an opportunity to earn some yield off of these. Go stake at Cryptonomy.Finance today.